What's happening guys and girls? It's Sunday. We're at the shop. I've done some assembly on this car and I left the camera out in the truck of course like an idiot but uh, we've got her back together. I've still got to uh, polish it. I got some dirt in it. Like I said yesterday you can see some dirt spots. I had a little mishap right here. A drip of water hit it. Um, but other than that I think I'm getting uh, water in my airlines again so we're going to invest in a desiccant dryer or a uh, refrigerated air dryer here shortly. Um, problem is this floor gets so cold it's like 50 degrees and the air in my loop still isn't getting enough time to cool down and it's hot in the shop. And of course my airline runs across the ceiling where it's hot. So that isn't enough to get it to cool down and drop all of its moisture. My toilet paper filter in the motor guard there is clean and dry, brand new. Uh, it's just not slowing the water down enough. What little bits left condenses into the uh, airline lane on that floor. So at any rate, um, so far so good. Uh, we got to do some wet sand and buff on this. I got this infrared light here going on the door trying to get it uh, finished curing up. Um, of course, it's just the morning after and it got down to like 55 or 60 in here last night. Uh, I thought I had the stove stoked up good, but I didn't. I was tired. Um, but this is what I got to work on tomorrow. Now you can see it because I scuffed it open. Yeah, I got a curtain down there. I got to get rid of it. And it sucks because it's right at the bottom of the door. But I'll get it to where it's undetectable. Um, just about the right amount of orange peel in that too to match the rest of the car. Then I'm going to have to buff this back door here because it's got a like a scuff on it with white paint. I don't know what it is, but uh, it wasn't part of the job and it's going to look like shit next to this freshly cleared door. So I'll run the buffer over the whole car. This is not a huge job, but it's big enough that I'll detail it up a little bit tomorrow after I get done buffing. So I'm going to take you guys outside and show you job number two for the week. Yeah, I haven't forgot about this one. It's still sitting there. I got about a week and a half worth of work on it if I can stay on it here. So keep your fingers crossed the weather stays good and I'm not plowing snow like a mad fiend. Had to get myself a brand new garage door opener too about a month ago. Garage door spring broke and then the door opener took a shit on me, so. So here's uh, the next job. This is my buddy Andy's car. It's for sale. You can tell by seeing what you got sticking out of there what happened. This is a 2013 Chevy Cruze LTZ leather decked out all the bells and whistles. Um, so we had a deer corner hit. They were almost damn near stopped but the I mean they just bumped that deer and I'm going to see if I can't fix this fender, which I don't want to do, but um, otherwise i got to blend into the door. I'm going to have to blend the hood anyway if I can fix this lip. Um, otherwise, it's getting a hood. Bumper cover, headlight, top fender clip is broken. Uh, it's got a boinger, and it folded up right there. It's got an Audi, which is strange. Um, I don't get that. Unless at some point there was something under the hood and it got slammed on, but I wouldn't imagine so. This car isn't very old and it doesn't have hardly any miles on it. But yeah, Bambi met the Chevy Cruze. Uh, anybody wants this car, uh, 17 grand will take it. Um, it doesn't have a lot of miles on it, but it is clean. It is very clean. I mean, yeah, I got it locked up, but at any rate, uh, if anybody's interested, I'll make a video on it for you. Um, it's got new, newer rubber on it. It's got Michelin's on it. Um, what else can I say about it? It's got it's an RS, so it's got the ground effects on it. It's got all all the stuff uh, you want if you want one of these little cars. We'll look at the side that didn't get bambiized. It's dirty too because it had to get driven over here in the slop. But uh, this one is for sale. Seventeen grand will take it. So let me know if anybody's interested. And uh, that's where we're at. We got kind of one of these kind of days going on. 
45 degrees outside and yeah not all that it's so cold because we got ice packed all over the parking lot so i figured i'd give you guys a little update and kind of a hey how how you doing and what's going on kind of video um i'm going to add to this had a couple guys asking me about the wood stove and how it's working um i'll tell you what i'm damn near out of wood uh I watched Tommy Shoe's video the other day, and he's in the same predicament I am, and I know a couple other guys are too. It was just so damn cold. I got probably four or five wheelbarrows full of wood, and when we get those 10-degree days, um, it's a wheelbarrow loaded day, and I have to load it twice just to keep it 60 in the shop. But uh, somebody mentioned before about ice damming on the roof. Well, I think... Uh, let's get my hand in there. I want to focus. Um, it's inevitable. It's ice dammed across the whole roof. Um, the way this building is built, it's a steel roof and there's no baffles in it. And there's really no soffit vents. So it's going to ice dam no matter what. The gutters are in terrible shape. Uh, but on the other hand, my building stays clean. Because nothing really ever gets on it unless the uh, furnace is out. But it's doing good. I'll take you guys in there. It's not running right now because I ran the torpedoes yesterday to paint, so uh, I shut the blower off on this and dampered it down and then ran it last night. Um, I'm going to replace this damper on the door here. I started using it. I took a couple links out of it and adjusted it because it wasn't staying open. But the little spring inside doesn't go up to the stop for putting it on high, so I'm pretty sure the spring is just give out. But uh, it'll go about 16 hours on a full load if I don't have it on high. If I have it on medium to low, it'll go about 16 on high, uh, about 10 hours, and I'm nothing but coals. Um, and I don't mean very many coals either, just enough to get you started to build another fire. Um, but it is working real good. Uh, it's just, uh, I'm still trying to heat a building that's too big for the furnace. You know, I blocked off some hallways and things like that, but I'm still trying to heat about 3,000 square feet with insulation in the walls. If you can see, I'll give you an idea where the insulation has settled to because it's cellulose blown in. That nail line there is about where the insulation has compacted down to because it doesn't have fiberglass in it. And we got four feet from there to there that has nothing in it. So... It's working, it's just uh, trying to heat a building that isn't very insulated. So, at any rate, that's where I'm at, guys. Um, probably try and make a video for you guys tomorrow uh, after that car is done. I've done buffing videos and getting trash out videos and runs and things like that. I may or may not make a video on that, but who knows? Tomorrow's another day, so hope you all have a good one, and uh, we'll catch you later.